Hi. Well, this is your big comeback. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel good. I'm, I mean, I love working. I, I don't um, I don't need much vacation. And um, I had a pretty good one after Ross, and I, I did a pilot last year that didn't go. And um, I was okay with that. I think I like this better. Um, uh, I've done a, a project here and there, and I'm just happy to be working. But I really like it. I love, I love my job. Especially if, especially if I get to go to work with people who I like, and, and, and there's a happy set. And um, this seems to be that. It seems to be that. Pretty happy set. I, I tried to write a, I wrote a treatment, and, 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 and Warner Brothers bought a show called Odd Jobs that I wrote, and they sold it to NBC, and they wrote, and they bought it for production. But the script that the writers came up with was not good, so it got shelved. But part of the reason I did that was for me and Michael Emerson specifically, who was in Lost. Part of the reason I did that was because I was just wanted to go to work with pros who I liked and who I I knew would be no fuss and would be you know reliable and, and uh, professional. And uh, I think we've got that in this group, so pretty happy. How do you like the contrast between uh, this character and your and your character with John Locke, someone who was torn and always tried to do what was right, and now someone who seems to be either the devil himself or the devil's conduit in a way? Uh, well, I don't. Uh, I mean, I I I don't love that contrast. I mean, I would. I, I don't know enough about this character. Uh, it, you know, uh, first impressions obviously mean a lot, and the first impression of this guy is that he's just strictly. Horrible, <laughs> and, you know, totally merciless and, and soulless and, and vicious. Um, so I hope that we, that somehow or other, uh, we can develop a few more aspects to the man that that, that can complicate our feelings a little bit. Um, because it's nice to be to have some questions. As an actor, um, we've spoken with some other people, and they um, all said that they were drawn to the to the project um, when they heard that you're na that you were involved. Um, how does that that make you feel now, in this point in your career, that you know you're drawn to other people? I don't know why they're blaming me for it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do anything. I think that's lovely that they would say that. I think that's lovely, uh, and I. Uh, it's, something I never thought would happen to me. And um, that's due in large part to all those things that came together in Hawaii and um, Damon Lindelof and, 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 and John Locke and me and that group, you know, and that phenomenon. And something like Catches Fire like that, it's, it was a wonderful thing. You know, and so it sort of changed my whole professional life. Now I've been doing this long enough to assume that doesn't mean it's changed forever. I understand that. You know, I was broke just before Lost, and I reckon I probably could easily be broke again sometime soon. We'll see. I hope not. But I do like to go out and eat. <laughs> I'm a foodie. That's my thing. I'm already planning dinner. Oh, yeah. That's my, that's my big thing. Yeah, but anyway, um, I think that's wonderful that they think that, and, uh, and, and hopefully when we're done with this, they'll still think so. <laughs> But there were some negative um, thoughts about the end of Lost and that there were questions that weren't answered. And now 666 Park Avenue kind of also has, it looks like there's going to be a lot of questions and, um, you know, what that'll have to be answered throughout the series. Was there any hesitancy to want to get into a project, again, similar to that? Or were you, was I, that not an issue? I hope we have the same problems that Lost had. <laughs> you know, I, I hope that there are people who want to know that much, who are, you know, that desperate to have answers. I, I thought in about the fourth year of Lost, they got, this guy has so many balls in the air, he's never going to catch them all. I, you know, he's got to let something drop to the ground. And of course they did. I think they let you know, most of them drop. You know, so like, people ask me now, I say, well, what happens? I, I guess we all went to heaven. I don't know. I mean, well, when were you dead? I don't know. I, I got killed halfway through and then I came back. And I'm not sure when I was dead. But I, it, and I think it's curious. I wonder about myself sometimes that I don't want everything explained to me specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've come to the conclusion that that wasn't what Lost was about. It was just totally not about the destination, almost purely about the trip. But I realize that that can frustrate a lot of people who want some explanations. Did you have you had discussions with the producers about 
where your character is going, or do they literally say whatever's on the page, play it for now? They they don't even say that. I, I might, what the discussion I did have was I said, look, I don't need to know anything. I just want. I mean, I do need to know that. You know, I just want to have good scenes to play, and I want to keep an audience interested. I don't want you know. I, what I just said there, and I thought it was a good metaphor. Metaphor is the word of when I when you start on a journey, and if we're going to go three, four years, or five, you know, that's what. I don't have to take all my baggage at the get go. I can pick up clothes all the way along, and you know, and, I, and, and hopefully when I get there, I'll, I'll have a great wardrobe and be well dressed and, and be interesting. Uh, but I don't, I don't need to know everything right now. Just tell me what I need. Right now. Let's make it interesting. This cast is a lot smaller than the one on Lost. You have a lot more screen time. What, 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 what effects in your life and has that had? And you know, how much more different experience is it shooting this kind of a show? You know, I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't feel like I had a lot. I worked a lot on Lost. You know? There were times when I had whole episodes free. You know, that was weird. That was the only time I didn't really like Hawaii because I had too much free time. Um, I, I, I enjoy working, and uh, you know, I doubt I'll be working five days a week on this show. I'll probably work you know, three or four days a week, and everybody should have it so good. <laughs> so I've got no problems with that. Last question. Can you talk a little bit about the relationship between your character and your wife, and um, how that, the dynamic in the pilot? Yeah, the, the relationship between Gavin and, and Olivia is a big, one of the big mysteries to me. I mean, because I have asked the writers, I said, how do they feel about each other? How does he feel about her? You know, would, it, would, would, would he die if he lost her? You know, who, you know, who loves who more? Who wants what? You know, what is their... Excuse me. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. What, uh, what's the significance of their daughter dying? You know, what's the story behind that? And uh, what are the resentments? That to me, is, so far, that to me is the big, the big mystery of the show. Who are they to each other? I'm looking forward to that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice talking to you.